Hi guys, welcome again for our little bonus video. This is gonna be <coughs> about these. I don't know if you can see it. Well, hold it down further. Dumpsters! We're gonna make some nice, disgusting, dirty dumpsters. And as a little extra, I'm gonna toss you some of these concrete blocks. We're also gonna be making those. Um, okay, for starters, I took a piece of offcut. Uh, styrofoam, uh, you guys usually use the pink stuff I believe, I don't have the pink stuff so uh, I used, well, yellow, it's from Yama, a shop, and it's a big sheet, um, <coughs> the thickness is about 3 centimeters, so that will be about an inch and a bit, I'm not sure with the, because I live in the metric world, um, but yeah, what I did was, I took a square, and basically, this is an offcut, guys. So what you do is you cut out a piece that is three in uh, three centimeters wide and four centimeters in length. So four centimeters like so, three centimeters like so. Then I marked the middle piece and just drew a line. I will use my black marker so you can see it better. That is actually one centimeter here one centimeter, so one centimeter here. Then I turn it to its side and actually took a little bit more than a centimeter and a little less than a centimeter and a half. But you can do a centimeter and a half. And you mark the line here. So you end up with something like this. Then you just connect these, see? So you get like so. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so you get like this triangle shape thing. And what we're gonna do next is take our box cutter and cut diagonally in the line we just made. See, like so, you will end up with something like this. This will be our um, yeah basic shape for the dumpster. Then. Uh, what we're going to do next is put a little slot dead center of the top piece, like so. And take our pencil and make it a little wider so you get this groove thing in here. We're going to do the same here. We're going to draw, draw uh, two lines across. I'm just eyeballing, guys, so okay. And mark them as well so you get these indentations. See? And continue this on the side. Careful for your fingers. Uh, this isn't the perfect shape because for the purpose of this video I'm just simply using an offcut of something I made before but well, you guys get the idea. So you, we will end up with this box like thing. See? Like this. Okay then <coughs> we're gonna for the purpose of this video we're gonna drop, uh, make a dumpster with the lid closed. This one I made before, the lid is open. Uh, yeah. On the second thought, we'll make one with the, exactly the same like this, with one piece open, just to show you guys. I just draw a rectangle in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, it really doesn't. And simply cut inside, like so and start to pull it out like this. It doesn't have to be a nice straight. I mean, the, the more of those things that are left in there, the better, because they will represent garbage. You don't have to do the entire piece, because as I said, we're gonna... There we go. So this will actually present garbage. Now, remember these of our shipping containers? Also an offcut I have. This will be for the lids, okay? As you can see, this will be for the lids. So you know my way of measuring, guys. And I will hold it against here, like so. And mark my pencil. Take my scissors. And cut as straight as possible. Now, let's see. There's a bit sticking off, so we're gonna snip that off. Just make sure it fits on here. 
Okay, and we're already starting to get something that looks a little bit like a dumpster, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, see? Uh, what we're going to do next is find the centerpiece and cut it in two nice squares. Okay, I'm going to fire up my hot glue gun <coughs> and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've taken again, uh, remember for the lamppost, those paper drinking straws? Grab one of these. Take your ruler, place it against, and mark a half a centimeter, guys. Half a centimeter, and you're going to need four of those pieces. Half a centimeter. So five millimeters. don't know what that is in inches, but you guys probably do. First, block off this piece. This will represent the wheels. Okay, so look, get away from me here. That's one wheel. Cut the other ones as well. Two. Just mold them back into their circular shapes a little bit, as you can see. Okay? You won't be seeing much of them, but it's the thought that counts. These will actually be going underneath, like so. This will be the wheels of the dumpster. I also took a toothpick, which we will insert in the groove we made here. This is actually something that will, like, you know, hold the lid of the container. Like it's open, and the other part that is closed. But uh, yeah, let's see if the glue gun. You now it's still warming up. Um, oh yeah. Also, another thing we're gonna be needing is you probably remember these these kebab skewers, but those uh, rectangular ones that we made uh, that we used to make the pallets. You're gonna need uh, one of these and about. Yeah, a centimeter piece, we're going to cut out a centimeter piece and we're going to make sure that we get two centimeter pieces. See? I just marked them with the cutting board. Snip it in half. I'll snip off the part. Okay. Like so. And same here. Careful with these guys. Okay. Like so, okay, then we end up with two small rectangles and we're going to be gluing them to the side here. It will be, because with this one I actually used beads, but personally I think it's too big, so I decided we're going to do it another way. Uh, okay, the hot glue has heated up, so what we're going to do is grab our rubber mat, I really love it, like so. and. We put some hot glue, be careful, because the hot glue will melt the styrofoam. Just insert a little bit in it, see, melts it, so be very careful when you do this. Yeah, this will do, okay. Now we have those pieces sticking out, you know me, I don't like pre-measure, so yep. simply cut them off. See, and we have the bar of the container sticking inside. Uh, then we take our square of uh, corrugated paper that we cut before. Now this one we make sure the corrugation runs from top to bottom and we're gonna be putting a little bit of the hot glue on the toothpick. Just hold it in place like this for a little while. dry rather quickly and then we have one open lid the other one we're gonna glue it shut like so and glue it here and I just realized that this piece is actually <laughs> too small so I'm gonna cut off a bigger piece my way of measuring hold it against the paper cut it off, cut it off, cut it 
off. Voila, and now we have a bigger piece, and that will actually be a lot better for the lid. So, same deal, hot glue. Place it on here. It's okay if you get it inside, it doesn't matter. And voila, stick it on. Like so. See? Now we have something that's starting to look like a dumpster, guys. Okay, so open lid, as you can see. Now, uh, for those small rectangular pieces, just put a little dollop of hot glue in the center of this. Take the rectangle, glue it on as straight as possible. This will actually be like the handles where they lift the dumpsters off when they collect the rubbish. So, same here. Put it on. There we go. These are the handles. Now, let's do the wheels. Uh, just turn it around. As you can see, it's an offcut of something, guys, but for this purpose, it will do just perfectly. Just put a little dot up here and place the wheel on it. Make sure, like in my case, it doesn't stick to your fingers. Okay, that's one wheel. second wheel it's actually a fun craft and it's really fast again like always you could do it with white glue but then if you're gonna do it with white glue then you are a very patient person and I am not that person <laughs> but uh, yeah more hot glue not too much because now to do this project uh, you might be better off using a small hot glue gun I also have one it's no problem, but um, I usually, I'm using the big one because not everyone I found out has a small hot glue gun. So for this, yeah, that's why I'm actually using the big one. Just to show you that you can do it. Well, basically, look, our dumpster is done. <laughs> well, not completely, we're gonna still have to paint the guy, but yeah, the crafting itself is done. Let's hold it up to the camera a little bit. Hope you can see it. See? A nice looking dumpster. Look at all that rubbish inside. And yeah, it's really fast, guys. Now we're gonna um, give this a base coat. Don't use the spray bot. Don't use spray paint. Um, use a regular brush. It's small. Use a regular brush. Or if you are going to spray, want to spray paint it, fine. But make sure you coat it with a uh, white PVA, water down so the foam won't melt. Okay guys, now I'm quickly gonna give this an undercoat, a base coat, and then I'll be back to show you when we're gonna paint it up. Okay, so I've coated it in a base color of just blue and did the wheels black and the inside of the container also black. Now, don't worry if it's not fully covered, we're gonna finish this up. But in the meantime, let's set this aside to dry. And we're gonna be start by making our concrete blocks. So what we're gonna do is take another rough cut, and I pre-measured it, but I'm gonna show you how to. Um, it's the same, it's the same offcut, but except on this side, you just gotta make sure that it's about that it's exactly two centimeters high. Okay, <coughs> yeah, two centimeters high. And just well, a piece of two centimeter by two centimeter square will do. Then what we're gonna do is measure it in half. So that's one centimeter. I will show this with my black marker. See, that's the center piece, one centimeter. And here again, we measure this piece, also two centimeters. And we're gonna also measure a little bit more than a centimeter here. And do the same thing like we did with our dumpster you can see here except this time we're going to cut all the way to the ground so we're going to simply slice through it in a tilted angle and then we get something like this see guys see what i mean Hold it up in front of the camera, we have a tilted angle. Now, get this piece we don't need it anymore. Now what we're gonna do is take our knife, be careful, and go like this. 
see, just score it over it, also on the top, on the back side, drag it across, cut some lines in there, see, like so, this piece is a little and it's slice off, so it's a little bit more in shape. Now, this is just a quickie, guys, okay, you can take uh, more time doing this, alright, but um, yeah. Now, um, at the bottom, because you know they have those slits where they lift those blocks, you don't have to do them, because on the previous ones, I didn't do them. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter, with this one we are, just for demonstration purposes. So we put our block here on the cutting mat and just mark out a centimeter here, a centimeter here. It's one centimeter, one centimeter. And we're just going to slice through it like this. See? Do? Slice through it. Be careful now because we just have to take out one piece because one side is will do. Perfect. Take that rectangle shape and just mold it into shape a little bit like I'm doing right here. But you'll end up with something like this. See? Now we're into perfect thing, but you guys get the idea. Now basically, um, again, we're gonna this time we're gonna take our structured paint. You don't have to uh, give it a base coat or anything, just Go raw structure paint, grab our pot. Because we're gonna give it a wash anyway, so grab our pot, put the structure paint in, get something to place underneath it. Uh, take a napkin right here. So there we go. Get our brush. Take another one for this one. Yeah, simple brush. See? Cheap brushes, guys. I'm using cheap stuff. So, and now we're gonna cover this entire piece in concrete. And with the cuttings we've made and the scorings we did, and in combination with the structure paint, it gives a really, really nice texture to it. Just simply dab it on. as well so what we're gonna do is cover this entire piece in concrete and I'll be back when that's done okay so we covered it in concrete now we take our brush small brush or big brush uh, better yet guys uh, take a small brush and I put a little bit of yellow paint here just run it in and dab some yellow lines above where we cut out the holes as I said you can do this a little bit more perfectly but for this purpose it will do just put some yellow spots on there I'll show you like this see one roadblock concrete roadblock um, we're gonna let it dry when it's done by then our dumpster will be dry as well. We're gonna give it a, a quick wash, a black wash, to, to darken up a few of those pieces. And then when we come back, we're gonna finish off our dumpster and our concrete block. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, so the paint of uh, <coughs> the dumpster is pretty dry, so I can touch it. Uh, now what we're gonna do is grab our small brush again. Remember, just use some brown. I use some brown paint and just dab it inside, make it nasty, make it dirty, maybe even draw a few brown dots on here like it's been smeared, you know, make it look nice and disgusting, like so. Uh, then we're going to take, as I prefer to use, our silver. Paper, silver on, and take a bigger brush. 
push. the silver we just took in the paper and we're gonna start by simply drawing it across the lid like so and do it across the dumpster as well it's not completely dry guys but uh, yeah it's not completely dry so I'm gonna see if it works otherwise I'm gonna have to wait a few more minutes so that it's decently dry except for Mario can a little bit like so you guys get the idea of course as you can see it's still a little wet but I don't mind it can blend into a dumpster nice and easy make it a little lighter I don't mind but yeah I'm gonna have to wait a few more minutes before we continue <laughs> sorry guys Okay, so our dumpster has, has time to dry. <coughs> now, <laughs> again, we take our silver paint, put a little dollop there, take our brush, take our dumpster, and start simply laying on the silver color. Doesn't matter how thick you put it on, just put it on. see what I'm doing here right guys it doesn't have to be perfect okay so because we're gonna put a wash on it and we're gonna dirty up this entire thing I'm gonna finish painting this up sorry I'm gonna finish painting this up and then I'll come back to show you what we do next Okay guys, with this part, you're thinking what the hell kind of a mess is this guy making, you'll like the end result, believe me. Okay, so I'm gonna finish, well, actually I'll just show you because otherwise, just go like so, and basically give it the blue we did use any kind you like you can use black as well but uh, I just did two blue doesn't matter we getting nice dirty disgusting fingers all part of it <laughs> and I don't mind one bit there we go I will show you what it looks like so far if you can see this that is maybe hold it a little bit lower but yeah from the camera it's too dark up here but okay well anyway when this is dry we're gonna give it a good wash and then 